Hi, well, that's me back home off that session, and I've just been checking the footage. And unfortunately, of the previous session where I did catch that fish, I've lost it all. It's a learning curve, I don't know what I've done, it's all gone. So, unfortunately, sorry, you won't be able to see that. So, I'll have to put some pictures on this vlog of the fish that I caught the last session, and hope you enjoyed. Plus, this I'm gonna to have to put in two separate bits because. I've verified this channel, and maybe some of you can help us. I've verified this channel, but still on my iPhone, iMovies won't let us update to YouTube. It says that it's over 15 minutes and it's too long. So if anybody can help, much appreciated. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this vlog, and uh, see you soon. Well, hello, welcome back again. Vlog number four, back on the syndicate. Uh, this is a third visit and if you watched uh, the last video you'll have seen that finally finally got rid of that uh, blank lovely 18.3 so if you haven't seen the, the the vlog pop back and have a look it's it's, uh, it's a lovely fish mind I thought it was a brilliant fish because it was the first one after the uh, this year so it's always a good one um, and I did a little review there about the, the Fox coffee maker have a look at that, definitely worth a look at. Um, like I say, I'm away to the syndicate again today, another 48 hours. See how it goes, the weather's a bit, uh, it's a bit hit and miss. I think we're gonna get a lot of drizzle today and tomorrow, and that'll brighten up later on tomorrow, so hopefully bring them on. I'm gonna drive over there and have a walk around and then catch up with you, show you the rigs and the bait is normal and the peg I'm on, so catch up with you in a little bit. Help. Welcome back. I mean, you know, I've had a, had a walk around and I'm on the same lake, but a different bait. I split into three, three sections. So the last time I was fishing, I was on like the opposite side. I'll, I'll turn you around in a minute and uh, show you. But uh, uh, this is this is the way I'm going to be for the next couple of days. Um, pissing down at the minute, so normally I get my rods out, but I think at the minute I'll just... Uh, get the bivvy up, get sorted, and then get the rods out. I've got 48 hours, so I've got plenty of time. Try and get everything dry, keep dry. So I'll just uh, turn you around and show you the, show you the swim. So this is the swim I'm in. I've seen some shown on this tray line. Behind that peg there, on the other side, that was where I was fishing. The last time when I caught that 18 pound fish, I don't know if you can see, there's like a cut through there and there. That's from that beer, and it comes all the way along, then go through there into another one. But it's absolutely pissing down, so I don't normally do it, but I'm going to get my beer up first, get everything under the out the rain, and then get my rods out. So I'll be back with you soon. See you in a bit. Well, got the rods out now. Took some down like all that rain, but plenty of time to get them out. So, got two out to the tree line. The left, uh, the right hand rod and the middle rod, and the left hand rod is just four, four rod lengths out to the left. Just one arm flick. Nice clear spot. Saw some fish shown on it, so gotta be worth a try. Gotta be worth a try. Um, I'll show you the rigs that I'm using tomorrow when it's a bit, uh, it's a bit drier, and I can get outside with a bit better light. It's crap at the minute, like 
rain and I think it's going to be until about 11 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock tonight. It eased off a little bit for us to get my rods out but not for very long, it's back in again. I was going to change my clothes, it's still damp but I really should like, I'll end up getting a cold. But uh, now my look, I'll put cl dry clothes on and then straight, straight away I'll get a bite, I'll be out there in the piss and rain again so one of them, what do you do? You damn if you do, you damn if you don't. I think I'll get I think I'll change my top leg anyway, so anyway, enough of me ramblings. Hope everybody's alright anyway and getting out and get on the bank. It's it's all changed since a few weeks ago, like you know. I think we've I think oh summer's gone now. Back into winter. But I haven't said that. It's not too bad, it's probably better weather for carp for fishing than was the other last few weeks burning red hot and high pressure so looks sorry for a bite mine I've seen a few shown and the rain I think the wind picks up a little bit and blows blows across into my swim like diagonally across so you never know might pick something up tonight early hours of the morning tomorrow morning who knows who knows? I know one thing, I keep thinking that I've cut all my gear down to his bare minimum. Jesus, still busting me barrel nearly getting it down. Full barrel load, falling off, bungeed everywhere, and I've still got to make two trips carrying buckets and clothes and. Oh, I don't know. Never mind, never mind. The things we do for carpet, eh? Well, I'm going to make myself some dinner in a minute and maybe just crack open a can. I'm having a coffee at a minute, trying to warm up a bit. And then I'll report back, back into you in a bit. Right, speak to you soon. Well, got some food. I'm going to can now, the rain slowly, slowly stopping, so hopefully it eases up and then I can get changed out these damn clears and get all nice, see how, see what happens, so hopefully see through the night, if not, first thing in the morning, hopefully catch you through the night, talk soon. Morning. Nothing through the night. Unfortunately, at least that rain's gone now. It's, uh, it's going to be a nice clear, clear day, I think. A little bit chilly. I've seen one or two short in here this morning just as I got up. So, not far from me spot. So, could be in for one early doors. There's, there's always a chance. You're gonna get one round about now. It's, it's a good time till about 10, 11 o'clock. So, just have to see. Should we be able to get a little bit more filming done today? Get out, out the bivy. Should, should be good. I'll show you some, show you some of the rigs I'm using again and my baits. Just there, uh, went and picked up another two kilo yesterday you never have enough so uh, see how it goes anyway I'm gonna make myself some breakfast pull myself around a bit more because I feel knackered and uh, we'll have a catch up in a bit a bit of crack catch us all in a bit right then welcome back uh, I've uh, swapped my rigs over, I put PVA bags on with um, some little bit of dry powdery ground bait like a milky thing um, and some pellet. And the ring I'm using for that is just uncoated bread. Yeah. Micro wing swivel, a bit of putty. A bit like a 
slip D rig. Put with a pop up on inside a bag. Now, I can't take credit for that rig. Um, it's something I saw just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think the channel's Big Buzz. I think it is Big Buzz Carper. I'll put the link below. Good lad, he's there. He's something to do with uh, the carp unit. Good set of lads, funny banter. So I can't take any of the credit. I pinched that rig off him, so nice one. The rigs that I had on earlier. Just a simple runny rig. Just easy. All this, all end tackle from Bobo Armour. And the other rig. Call me rig. So it's chord filament. Same again. So one coat of braid. Curved hook. Bait swivel. And a bottom bait with a bit of corn. Easy. The bait I'm using is what I use all the time, horse AD. That's got his own Facebook page. Fruit salad. Don't know if you can smell them. Um, really good, I use all these bottom baits as well. Give him a look on their Facebook as well. Good lad. Um, he sort you out. So these rigs have been. I'll uh, leave these out for a while. It's only yeah, two o'clock in the afternoon, and then see what happens. See what happens. Anyway, don't forget to put some comments and likes and dislikes if you've got to. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. And press the notification bell so you can get all my videos and like I say really appreciate you taking your time out your day to listen to me waffle and see what I'm up to hopefully I can get a couple of fish on the bank this trip again so I'm gonna just chill out relax have a couple of days remember boys and girls when the fun stops, stops. And I'll see you all in a bit. That's in a bit.